Hey guys, happy Friday. Welcome back. Hope you're all enjoying your day and almost to the weekend. I'm here to share number two video for the new Kringle and Country Candle for fall 2023. If you missed it from yesterday, I did do a video talking about the first six new Kringle tumblers for fall 2023. In this video, I want to go over the six new country candles for 2023. So um, definitely check out the video from yesterday if you did miss it. But um, these are all in the new 100% soy wax formulation that we saw um, got reformulated for country candle this spring. Um, so this is kind of like our second round. So I'm really excited to review these, see if there's any changes that um, I'm seeing being made to these since it is kind of like a new formulation still. Um, but there's some really, really yummy and delicious scents in this collection. I honestly think that this might be one of my favorite collections from Kringle. It is just so good. There is a lot of gourmands. All six of these new fall candles in the country collection are gourmands. And then most of the Kringles are two. I want to say like maybe two of them are not, but all of the country ones are gourmands. So if you are a gourmand lover, you love dessert scents, bakery scents, like those just like yummy yummy delicious um fragrances and this is definitely the collection for you these are available now they went live yesterday on kringle's website which i will leave the link down below for that in the description you can use my code connor 15 that's going to save you 15 percent off of your order thank you so much for everyone who did order from me yesterday and even if you didn't order from me yesterday i would love to hear what you guys think um about this new collection and I would love to hear what you picked up. So let me know in the comments. But um, anyways, we're gonna get right into this. So again, we have six new fragrances. All of them are in the same 100% soy wax. It is in the tumblers, um, two wicks. Um, they are in the country style jar still. They are still colored wax. Um, so what I'll do, I'm gonna go over the six fragrances first and then I'll kinda go in more depth into each of them. <clears throat> All right, let's start with Cherry Crumble. Oh my goodness, you guys, Cherry Crumble. I definitely I definitely have some thoughts on this one. It's my favorite out of all 12. I'll go ahead and spoil that right now. It's my favorite out of all 12. Sorry, I needed a sip of water. All right, Pumpkin Banana Muffin. Yum. Um, we've got Apple Pumpkin Pie super super pretty i love the colored wax um i do like the white wax because it's like not like basic but it just like fits in with any home decor style but i do love the fun colored wax just because it's like so like seasonal and pretty uh warm cinnabons candied orange right here pretty orange color and lastly but not least we have churros and chocolate um, now, before I get into them, disclaimer, Kringle did send all six of these to me for free um, as PR, so I did not pay for any of these. I always want to be upfront, I'll let you guys know and be honest about what is sent to me in PR. Even though they were sent to me and I am a Kringle ambassador, um, I am always 100% honest with my reviews. Um, I never would lie about something like strength and throw, burn, or anything like that. I'm always fully 100% transparent and honest, um, and I really strive for that. So that is me. Even though these were sent to me, I am just fully 100% honest with my reviews. And also to let you guys know who are wondering, if you do use our codes as ambassadors, we do make a small percentage back. It's not a ton, um, but it is a good way for us to kind of get a little bit of payment for the work that we do here on YouTube and on Instagram and all of the fun candle stuff that we do. And personally for me, it goes right back into buying stuff for you guys. Even though they did send me all 12 of the new fragrances, I actually placed my own order. Um, I placed 100 plus plus dollar order of wax melts. So yeah, I, I still love the company though. They do send me stuff. Like I truly do love this company. So I, I do spend my own money on it too. All right, let's start with cherry crumble. Now 
Like I said, this is my favorite out of the entire collection, out of all 12. And I really did not expect it to be. Um, cherry is kind of like a scary note for me, I guess, because I don't always love it. Um, I really like some cherry fragrances and then a lot of others I'm like, oh, I don't like that. Like, I don't like black cherry or like a cherry Merlot. I'm normally not a fan of that. I do like cherry blossoms, but that's different. That's more floral. But this cherry crumble, Oh my goodness, you guys. I ordered um, like five of the wax melts, I think, and I'm probably gonna get more just cause it's so, so good. But Cherry Crumble, the description on here reads, and sorry, I've gotta zoom in cause this is very small on my phone. All right, indulge in the delightful essence of cherry crumble as sweet raspberries and vanilla bean intertwine while warm buttery crumble crust wafts through the air. With a hint of broken sugar, sorry, brown sugar, not broken, this comforting fragrance invokes cherished memories of autumn evenings and heartwarming family moments. Your top notes are raspberry jam and vanilla glaze. Your mid notes are confecture sugar, wild berries, and your base notes are flaky pastry and melted butter. <clears throat> this is so good. Oh, I love it. You know what this smells like? It smells like a delicious cherry pie. You get those sweet, um, I think a lot of people would probably consider this like summertime berries. And I definitely consider that too. Like I could definitely burn this during the summer. I do plan on burning it now. I'm not, I'm not gonna wait on this one. This one's too good to wait for. But yeah, you get those beautiful um, summer berries. The main one is cherry. It's not like an overpowering cherry though. Like I feel like you do get the cherry, but you can really still detect the strawberry, the raspberry, uh, maybe a little bit of blackberry in here as well. And you can detect them just as much as you can the cherry. So if you don't love cherry always, don't let that scare you away. This one is so good, but you get those berries and then you also get that like flaky pie crust. Oh, it's so good. I love when I can pick up the flaky pie crust or like the gourmandness to a fragrance. And I definitely get that in here. Oh, it's so good. I'm definitely gonna need more of the candle. I'm so glad I have the wax melts on my way, which by the way, I don't, I hate to like plant consumerism and like tell you guys, you guys need to go buy this now. But I do think that these could sell out fast. So if you haven't already placed your order by now, I would probably start considering doing that because with the way that it's been going lately with Kringle, things sell out fast. Um, I don't think it's gonna sell out quite as fast as like the reserve line has been, but um, I know that the wax melts for the pumpkin banana muffin were already sold out by the time that I went to place my order on uh, Thursday morning. So, and that was like an hour after I think they launched. So they are selling out quickly. So definitely get your hands on them. I would say specifically the wax melts and the daylights. I feel like those normally go quicker. I think maybe they do less stock in the wax melts and daylights. So get those now if you want them. The candles will probably stick around, but really, I hate to like tell you guys, you've got to go buy this, but if you want it, get your hands on it quickly. But yeah, cherry crumble, so good. I'm definitely gonna burn this. I think this will be like the last week of July candle because I do have a few summer candles that I wanna finish up, but this kind of smells like summer to me. This could be an all year round candle. This is definitely a new must have holy grail for me. I just, I love it, it's so good. So that is cherry crumble. By the way, I'll put all of the notes in the description if you do wanna read them because I know it can kind of be a lot when I read them out loud. So definitely check out the description and follow along. All right, let's talk about the next one. This is pumpkin banana muffin. Oh, so good. When I saw this one on the website, I was like, I just know I'm gonna love that. Um, beautiful muffin picture. All right, so the description on this one reads, pumpkin puree, mashed banana, and creamy butter are combined with cinnamon, nutmeg, and vanilla, and hints of lemon zest and coconut while drizzled with caramel to give you a delicious, sweet treat. Your top notes are banana, lemon zest, apple, and butter. Your mid notes are pun pumpkin, coconut, cinnamon, and nutmeg. And your base notes are vanilla, caramel, and tonka bean. Oh, it smells... So good. Um, someone asked me, how does this compare to the pumpkin banana scone from uh, Yankee Candle? And I was actually wondering, so I had my pumpkin banana scone out and I smelled the two. The difference between them that I pick up, and it's a very slight difference, it's very, um, they're very similar since I don't think they're that different. 
But what I do pick up from difference, this is a little bit less sweet to me actually than the pumpkin banana scone is. I think this one is slightly less sweet and maybe, I think maybe it is a little bit more of the pumpkin. You definitely get the banana in here. It's very banana forward, but compared to the pumpkin banana scone from Yankee, if you've smelled that, it's such a delicious scent. This is slightly less sweet and has a tad more pumpkin to it than the pumpkin banana scone does. It's so delicious. You get that brown sugar, you get the pumpkin, a little bit of spice. It's not overly spicy. You just kind of get a little bit of nutmeg, a little bit of cinnamon, but it is so good. Um, you also definitely get the caramel and the vanilla to sweeten it up. It's so good. This is going to be delicious for the kitchen. This is going to be a good one. Like in September when school is back, you just get like that, like warm, cozy, like fall vibes. And this one's going to be so good. This smells like a good morning candle. Like maybe when I'm drinking my coffee, I'll light it up in the kitchen and just smell it. And it, it's going to be so good. I did order wax melts of this one, so those will definitely be coming in. But this is so, so, so delicious. So that is the pumpkin banana muffin. Um, let's do apple pumpkin pie. So I have to be honest because I said I would be honest. Um, I was so excited for this one because whenever I see like pie or cake, I get really excited and I don't dislike this fragrance. But I am a little disappointed. I kind of wanted a different fragrance and I'll talk about it more when I smell this, but there are some changes that I would make to this. It's not a bad fragrance at all. I'm not telling you not to buy it. And even the fragrances that I don't love, still buy it, still try it because scent is really preference. Something I don't like you will probably love. So um, let's talk about the apple pumpkin pie. The note, the description on here reads, crisp fall apple halves and pear are blended with citrus. Pumpkin puree is wrapped with bold spices, comforting undertones of vanilla baked notes and all, splite, and all spice complete this delectable aroma. Sorry, I'm like hiding my face. I'm trying to read. All right. Top notes are red apple, Andrew pear, and mandarin. Your mid notes are cinnamon bark, nutmeg, and pumpkin puree. And your base notes are vanilla, baked pie crust, and allspice. Okay, so to me on cold, um, cause these are all cold, I have not burned anything yet, but to me on cold, this is very, very spicy. It's much more spicy than I expected it to be. I think the main thing that I get in here is that spice. I get cinnamon. Um, if you don't love cinnamon, you might not like this one, to be honest, because this to me is very heavy on the cinnamon. It's not quite hot cinnamon, like your red hot, like um, spicy cinnamon. But to me, it's leaning a little bit that way. Um, there is clove in here. There's definitely a lot of spice, some nutmeg too. It's like the baking spices. Um, I do get a slight apple note in here, but it's very slight. I honestly would have hoped to get more apple in here. I don't get a lot though. There is a slight apple though. Um, I think it's more of a baked apple actually than like a um, like fresh raw apple. It's more of a baked and cinnamon and sugar apple, like a warm soft apple, that same type of apple that's in the crisp campfire apple from Yankee Candle. Um, and then you get the pumpkin in here too. The pumpkin is very present to me. I get much more pumpkin than apple in here. So this to me is a little bit more of like a spiced pumpkin with an apple undertone to it. I don't get pie crust at all, honestly. I don't really get pie. I think to me this smells like, this smells more like a spiced pumpkin fragrance to me. So um, I saw Philly Candleman said that this smelled like spiced pumpkin, pumpkin from Yankee. Not the same fragrance, but he's definitely right. It's more of a spiced pumpkin. So don't buy this thinking you're gonna get an apple pumpkin pie because I really don't smell that. And here I get more of a spicy pumpkin with a slight apple undertone. There is a little bit of sweetness to this, maybe from that vanilla and maybe the fruitiness that you're getting in here from the apple and the pear, but it's mainly spiced pumpkin in my opinion. Not a bad fragrance, just not what I was hoping for. I really wanted an apple pie, that would've been good. Kringle does do a good apple pie fragrance though with their warm apple pie. Um, it's in the country line. So definitely check that out um, if you have it and you're looking for an apple pie fragrance, that's a really good one. 
So that is the warm apple pie. Sorry, apple pumpkin pie. I'm glad they put pumpkin in the title at least because that it's definitely a pumpkin fragrance. But if you like spiced pumpkin scents, then that's a good one. It's not a bad fragrance at all. Just not what I expected. All right, let's do warm Cinnabons. Where is it? Here it is. All right, so warm Cinnabons. Now, this one is filled very high on mine, actually. This is clearly filled way too high. Um, if you look at, like, the others, they're all poured to about here. So this one is definitely filled a little bit too high. It's not a huge deal, but it can be a big deal when it comes to the burn, if this did get puny, because the wick length is a little bit shorter. It's definitely poured a little too high, but I don't think it's gonna be a huge deal, but I did wanna um, mention that. Also, before I forget, these were sweaty when I got them. You have to remember they've been on a UPS truck for days, so they're gonna get hot in this heat, and so, they were sweating. It wasn't like a full on pool of wax, but there were definitely some sweaty spots in like the sides specifically. Um, nothing dirty, but it did kind of like get on the tops of some of them, the lids, like as you can see, this one has some oils in it. It's not a big deal, but I did want to mention that. So expect that if you have these on your way to you. All right, um, kind of inevitable in the heat, um, to be honest. So yeah. All right, warm Cinnabons. So I was really excited about this one because I love a good cinnamon pastry fragrance. So the description on this one reads, smell the taste, which is so true because this smells like you're eating warm Cinnabons. This literally smells like you're eating a really fresh, warm, gooey, sweet cinnamon bun right from the oven. Your top notes are cinnamon maple, mid notes are glazed frosting accord, coconut, nutmeg, and liquid brown sugar. And your base notes are vanilla, tonka, musk, and heliotrope. This smells, this smells just like a um, warm cinnamon bun, like really so authentic to that. It's a delicious fragrance. If you like cinnamon buns, you have to check this out. You get that warm, gooey um, cinnamon bun. You get a slight spice from this one, but it's more of your gourmand spice. You get like that like warm, delicious cinnamon, and it just smells so authentic to that. Like I've smelled cinnamon bun fragrances that are more like not authentic and they're much more artificial. This smells like a real cinnamon bun. I don't know how they did it, but it's so good. I have wax melts on the way to me for this one. And you also get that cream cheese um, frosting. Oh, it's so good. I really like this one. This is going to be delicious while burning. I'm really, I'm loving this one. So warm Cinnabons. All right. Second to last, we have candied orange. Let's see. Candied orange. This one has a purple yellowish, almost wax, like an orange yellowish. All right, the description on this one reads, the yummy sweet, sorry, the yummy scent of sweet blood orange peel covered with chocolate. This aroma is then rounded off with gourmand scents of vanilla and lactonic milky notes sprinkled with the crystallized sugar. Your top notes are candied orange and bergamot. Your mid notes are sugar glaze and blood orange and your base notes are chocolate, vanilla and matcha. All right, so this actually smells good. Um, I was a little bit nervous when I smelled this on first because I was like, I don't know how I feel. I like this fragrance. What's throwing me off is this I consider more of a holiday scent actually, like the chocolate covered oranges that you get around the holiday time at like Trader Joe's or something like a grocery store like that. Um, that's something that I kind of resonate more with the holidays than fall, but this is a good scent. It's definitely a very candied orange. Um, it's definitely um, not authentic. It's not like Sicilian orange where it's like that juicy, fresh orange. This is much more candied, very artificial. Not bad though. It kind of almost smells like a gummy orange. Um, it's really, it's delicious though. Um, I really like this one. You do get the chocolate note personally for me. I get the chocolate note. I've seen some people say they don't detect chocolate. I do. It's not a ton of chocolate like the next one that I'll talk about, which is chocolate and churros, but um, I definitely get a chocolate to this one. It's very sweet. I could see someone finding this maybe being a little bit cloying, so I would be careful if you don't like really sweet fragrances. Maybe try it in the daylight or wax melt first, but I do like this one. It's good. Um, 
this will be interesting. I do think I can go ahead and maybe burn this now during the summer since it's more fruity with that orange, but yeah, I do like this one. All right, and then last but not least, we have the churros and chocolate. Here it is. This looks so yummy. I would love to eat this. I love the Costco churros. They are so good. Um, so churros and chocolate. The description on this one reads, a Mexican fiesta with a spicy cinnamon, spice sugar, and crunchy on the outside, chocolate churros are a buttery fried dough with hints of honey and lemon dipped in creamy chocolate. Your top notes are chocolate, honey, and lemon zest. Your mid notes are butter, nutmeg, and cinnamon, and your base notes are vanilla, sugar, and toasted almond. This, this is good. I'll be honest though, like this is not something that I think I want my house to smell like. Kringle always does like really unique fragrances and I'm like, I like that, but I don't think I want my house to smell like this. So maybe like either early in the morning when I'm like drinking coffee, this one might be good. But I think maybe like later at night when you're like craving a dessert, maybe you like this one up, but it's good. If you're a chocolate fan, you're definitely gonna like this. It's very unique. You get the chocolate for sure. And it's the same chocolate that I've seen Kringle do. It smells kind of like that same chocolate that was in the chocolate bunnies from their Easter collection. It's a very creamy chocolate, definitely more milk chocolate than dark. I would love to see them do a dark chocolate. I know they have a lava cake fragrance. Is that a dark chocolate or a milk chocolate? I've never tried that one, but I definitely should. But um, a dark chocolate would be really interesting. But this one, it's good. You also do get the churro in here. You get the cinnamon and the sugar. You get the fried dough note. It's really delicious. This is gonna be a good one to light up for the evening time. Again, I don't want my whole house to smell like this, but maybe in the kitchen after dinner while we're like having dessert or something, this one would be good. But yeah, if you like chocolate mixed with like a cinnamon and a sugar note, you'll really like this. So yeah, guys, that is the six new country candle fragrances for fall 2023. That is the collection. Make sure to check out the video from yesterday if you did miss it to see the other six that are in the Kringles. I'll leave all of the notes down below in the description box if you're interested in checking them out. But if you have already placed your order, I would love to know what you picked up. And if you're going to place your order, let me know what you plan on picking up. Um, I think that you really can't go wrong with this collection. They're all great fragrances. There's one that I'm like, oh, I don't know if I like that. And that's the Bonfire one from the Kringles but that one's still not a bad scent. So I would love to hear what you guys think about this collection. Um, I am just really excited to get to burning these soon. I have already selected a few that I do want to burn in the next coming weeks while I finish off some summer candles because I do think that some of these will work during the summer um, as good like either transitional fragrances or like summer fragrances like the orange one. I think this definitely would go as a summer scent. And my delicious beloved cherry crumble could be a summer scent. So I'm definitely gonna get to burning these soon and I will be doing individual um, post burn reviews on all of these around once I hit the halfway point. So it'll definitely be a few weeks before the first few go out, but definitely be looking forward and hopefully um, by like September, when fall is actually here, y'all will be ready to uh, maybe burn and buy more fall candles. So thank you so much for watching. Again, my code is Connor15. That'll save you 15% off. But thank you for watching. Please like if you found this video helpful. Subscribe if you're new here. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.